you think uh, that the street has this wrong? The, the street is looking too bearishly at things. What is it that makes you think that we, we are going to see markets up by about 14 percent this year? I, I'm not that bullish. I just think the market's too bearish, if that's the best way of putting it. Three simple numbers for you. We think global uh, analysts are expecting earnings growth of 7% this year. That isn't going to happen. We think 4% is going to happen, but we think the market's now pricing in minus 4, minus 5. So it'll take some convincing, but we think the market's too bearish now on earnings. You have a bear market checklist that you say has gone from four red flags out of 18 down to about three and a half. What, what are the red flags that are, that are still remaining and, and how do you kind of put all of that in to figure out whether it's a big problem or not? I think the most worrying things for me are the signals we're getting from the fixed income market. So uh, you guys will have heard uh, concerns about flattening in the yield curve, which typically happens towards the end of a cycle and before a bear market. I'm also worried about rising credit spreads. So those are the two main red flags that I'm concerned about. But elsewhere, it's harder to see signs of excess that you typically get at the top of the bull market. You're talking about a global market rally. Can you break that down for us and tell, you, tell us what you think about certain markets, maybe the United States, what you see in some of the emerging markets? Yeah, I mean, our preference at the moment within our kind of up 14 percent target for global equities, our preference for the moment is in the U.S., which is a bit of a momentum call. It's been one of the stronger markets of this whole cycle. I know it's not been strong recently, but also we've turned more positive recently on emerging markets, which has been a seriously unloved asset. We think those are the two that could provide leadership in this rally that we're forecasting for this year. How much of that is because of what central banks are doing and, and what we even heard from Jay Powell here in the United States on Friday? That definitely helps. The markets uh, are kind of throwing a bit of a tantrum. They don't want to see rate hikes and they're trying to find a level perhaps that they need to fall to to potentially stop them happening. Uh, I think effectively uh, central bank policy has been tightening, but I really think this sell-off has been more about the market starting to price in weaker earnings. There's a lot of talk about it being about the extraction of cheap money as policy tightens, but I think it's really about the markets trying to think about um, pricing in a contraction in earnings. We don't think that's going to happen. That's why we're bullish. You don't think there's an earnings recession. You're looking for 4% growth. What, what would happen if earnings came in weaker than what you're expecting with that 4% growth? Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you that I think the markets are pricing in minus four, minus five. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that when we get minus four, minus five, you know, if we were to get minus four, minus five, markets would go nowhere. Mm -hmm. Markets don't think like that. They'll straight line that downgrade even further. Uh, but I just generally think that over the year, when the market sees the numbers got a plus in front of it on earnings, that will be enough to stabilize prices and turn them around and make the markets think there isn't uh, a recession just around the corner. Robert, what makes you think that the market is pricing in down 4%, uh, a decline of 4% in earnings right now? Just because, as you mentioned, the, the average that analysts are looking for right now is north of 7% gains. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the markets believe the analysts, right? Um, they can see analysts are downgrading. That plus 7 from analysts was plus 10 only back in August, September. So I think the markets are straight lining further downgrades, and that's the right thing to do. I just think they've straight lined it too far. Our models are telling us these markets are now discounting minus 4, minus 5 on earnings. Uh, we think they're right to be cynical about what analysts are saying, but we think they're being too cynical right now. Your, your biggest recommendation in terms of sectors to this point had, had been IT. You've been overweight on that. What, what are you replacing that with right now? Yeah, there's been some changes in the way sectors work. So effectively, we've, we've downgraded the IT sector and we've upgraded what is called communication services. Now, nowadays, what that has is a whole bunch of internet stocks, so a bit of IT, but also telecoms in it. So we've, we've turned a, a more positive on that part of the technology universe, partly because it's a bit more defensive and should downgrade less than the more cyclical um, hardware IT stocks where, where we're now neutral.